an old can of flyaway bug spray from Acme Chemicals. Whoa, what was that? Oh, that was just some moisture displacing spray. I'm giving everyone a spray to make sure we're all running at maximum performance. All part of the new maintenance plan you might have heard about. I see. Thank you. What an exhilarating feeling. <clears throat> Status report, please. Just let me know when you need me to fire up the Chrono Viper, sir. I seem to have forgotten the passphrase for Room X. Oh? So, do you have it? I do, and surprisingly, I feel I'm about to spill the beans about it. Go on. You mustn't laugh, though. It's a bit embarrassing, see? I got a bit hooked on this old TV series. Well, addicted, really. I have been seeing DR22 about it, as a matter of fact. Go on. The passphrase is Lorelei. Now you promise not to laugh. Hey, I don't judge my fellow Pythonians. Lorelei. Okay, maybe using both of these mirrors, I could reflect the lasers, somehow. Piece of cake! Sure. I just hope it'll be worth it. I tightened up that bag real good. Okay, the soil looks a lot more fertile now. Okay, the acorn has been planted. I guess now we play the waiting game. Back for another glimpse, eh? Well, I can't share blame you, really. Talk to you later. <laughs> Still got it. Okay, I put the whole lot down. That should keep it healthy for a good long while. A little plastic toy soldier. Oh, the little helmet came off.
Hey, cutie. I've told you a hundred times, it's QT40, KLO1. Do you mind, KLO1? I'm here to talk to Julia. Is there anything I can do to get you to spill the beans on Justin? <sighs> Divulge Empire business? I think not. And KLO1, will you please move along? You're totally cramping my style in front of Julia. Back for another glimpse, eh? Well, I can't share blame you, really. Maybe you're not trusted with any of the top-secret stuff. Spill him. I think you underestimate the prowess of our security routines. You know what's even cooler than flipping through a newspaper, though? Having one, but not actually reading it. Hmm. Like actually having one? But being too cool to even read it? Exactly. Oh, I never read them, Michelle. Maybe you're not trusted with any of the top secret stuff. Spill them. I think you underestimate the prowess of our security routines. Talk to you later. <laughs> Aced it. Hey, cutie. I've told you a hundred times, it's QT40, KLO1. Do you mind, KLO1? I'm here to talk to Julia. Is there anything I can do to get you to spill the beans on Justin? <sighs> Divulge Empire business? I think not. And KLO1, will you please move along? You're totally cramping my style in front of Julia. Well, I was thinking maybe you'd like some cologne for your date. Oh. Good thinking, KLO1. Hook me up. Hmm, what a strange sensation. I feel uh, different somehow. Yep, it's a powerful cologne. Yeah, I can feel that. Oh, Julia, I feel a need to tell you that I'm feeling extremely nervous. Maybe you're not trusted with any of the top secret stuff. Spill him. Okay, I guess I'm about to, actually. So, there's four of them. Secret one, the project name for the ongoing security operation regarding time travelers is Operation Chipmunk. Secret 2. How to access the top secret laboratory floor. Oh, the secret floor. I hear it holds the most cutting edge technology and the most prized possessions of the Empire. Access to it is slightly above my clearance level, but when people go there I notice that there's always a smell of either beeswax or sap in the air. Secret 3. Standard Pythonic Security Code. 4841. Updated yearly. Secret 4. Password to enter room X. Error. Clearance level failed. Talk to you later. Ah, oh, it felt good to get all that off my chest.
Whoa, a squirrel. Okay, let's give it a shot. Hey, I got it. Huh. What? I don't know, it just seemed surprisingly easy, no? Why? Why would it be any harder? No reason, just saying. Don't worry about him, little squirrel. I haven't had much luck with rodents so far, but I'm gonna take really good care of you, give you a proper name and everything. I'm gonna call you Sam. Little Sam Squirrel. I promise to keep you safe, little Sam Squirrel. Oops. Called it. I wonder where little Sam Squirrel went off to. I sure hope he's going to be all right. One water coming right up. Okay, one pair of bellows full of water coming right up. Sure thing. Let me just leave this dungeon first. It says the old robotics factory was abandoned in the year 7994. Stay out or suffer the consequences. Hmm. The real QP43 told me that the current year was 8021. This place has been closed for 27 years. Hmm. Curious. I could have sworn that ventilation hatch was closed earlier. Let's find out what's going on. Uh-oh. Sounds like I set off an alarm or something. Which is surprising, given my graceful cat-like entrance. Oh dear. Little Sammy Squirrel's gotten stuck up there. The screen reads, Enter code or suffer the consequences. Wrong code. Phew, that did the trick.
Let's try something else. Let's not combine those. Hmm, maybe a spanner in the works. Or a wrench in the gears, as it were. Nah. Let's see if this little helmet might help little Sam out. Let's try something else. Okay, let's see if these bellows full of water might put out that fire. Doesn't seem to work. Okay, let's hope for the best. Boom! Little Sam Squirrel is in the bin! Come here, Little Sam Squirrel! I know I had some bad luck with these rodents in the past, but I know Sam the Squirrel is going to take me home to Julia! The game is up, QP43. Or should I say... Justin. Oh no. A close talker. And also... What? You guys are no longer fooled by the name tag? <laughs> we saw through that admittedly clever deception some time ago. Oh. What tipped you off? Your general lack of ruthlessness. It was most disturbing for your co-workers to be exposed to. Oh, sorry about that. Yuck! There it is again! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Will you stop being so unbearably melodramatic and in the presence of the Patriarch himself? The Patriarch is here? We do have that honor, yes. One Patriarch present. Welcome, Justin, to the successful conclusion of Operation Chipmunk. We've been monitoring your steps for quite a while now, and much as I anticipated, you walked right into the trap. Heck, you even fell for that acorn thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Clever. I feel I must point out, though, that chipmunks and squirrels are totally not the same animal. Silence, you! Look, I don't suppose we could all just sit down and talk this thing over, could we? Not likely. We've been waiting patiently to try out the latest Chrono, what you may call it. The Chrono Viper 3, sure. Yeah, that thing. A wiping session? Yep, the lab rats speak very highly of this new model. It will wipe out any trace of you. From any timeline? Check. In any universe? And mate. What do you have to say about that, chump? I choose to face my destiny with a stoic calm. <sighs> nice try. We studied you, Justin, and we know that's so not your style. Patriarch one, chump to be wiped out, nil. It's go time! Yes, the recursive flux matrices just need a little time before they're fully initialized. Pythonic machinery does tend to require a surprising amount of initialization time, no? Oh, I can't wait for that snarky remark to be wiped out. Bring it on! Be 
This is Lenny speaking. If someone could stop coding AI robots and instead divert their attention to their actual job for a while, that would be great. Thank you. Gah, I'll never get the hang of AI programming while maintaining this dreary job. Maybe I could convince Lenny to hire an extra shop assistant to take over some of these menial tasks. Yes, that should give me ample time to enslave the universe. Hi, Lenny. This is Lenny speaking. Could someone please tell the applicant looking to fill the position of junior shop assistant that a proper job application is in order? With at least one former or current employer given as a refer once. You think I have what it takes to work as a shop assistant? Challenge accepted. Thank you. Okay, I'll get cracking on that job application. It came out great. I even got a chance to reuse that old profile photo. Now to print this beauty. Sending to printer. And done. Nice. Now all I need is for a current or former employer to sign up as a referee. Would you mind signing this job application as a reference? Dor, didn't you just start working here? I did, but you know me, man about town and all that. I can totally hold down two jobs. I guess. But a word of advice, if you're really going to work at that corner shop, keep an eye on that blonde kid. I could never quite put my finger on it, but there's some kind of bad mojo around that one. Bad mojo? Noted. Thanks, boss. I think I can see that banana peel down there in the darkness. Hi, Lenny. I've got that job application signed and everything. Validating job application. Please hold. You still there, Lenny? Hmm. You really didn't have to print this thing in colour, you know. Anyway, welcome aboard, Clue. You are now officially part of Team Lenny. Go, Team Lenny! Go, Team Lenny! Yeah, yeah, whatever. So, what does it mean to be part of Team Lenny? Well, here's what you gotta know. Whenever something happens around here, make sure to refer to it as happening in Isle One. Everything happens in aisle one. Got it. Other than that, just follow the instructions of the first shop assistant. 
Does he have a name, that guy? We just call him Kid around here. He's a tad on the grumpy side, but he's a real artist when it comes to using that mop. Hey, boss kid. Ah, lonely subordinate Clout. Reporting for duty. Do you need me to do anything? Well, just keep an eye on things. I'll let you know when I need you. Okie dokie. What are you working on there? Oh, nothing special. Just trying to learn AI programming so that I can one day build robots to conquer the world! Oh. That kid is definitely up to no good. Should I maybe find a way to put an end to his AI studies? <laughs>